Here is our host, Jian Wei. Hello and welcome to World Insider. It is coming to you live from Beijing. I'm Tian Wei. It is already a month since the Taliban took control of the capital Kabul. They now face huge humanitarian and political challenges after years of conflict that led to death and displacement of tens of thousands in that country. There has been no formal recognition of the Taliban's so-called interim government from the international community yet. But that's of little concern as the Afghan economy is in ruins, despite billions of dollars spent on the country over the past two decades. Earlier this week, a UN donor conference for Afghanistan raised the more than one billion in emergency assistance to ease the humanitarian situation there. In the first major media briefing, Afghanistan's acting foreign minister Amir Khan Mutaki said the Taliban government is willing to have good relations with countries around the world. We want good relations with the international community. We want mutual relations. Our demand from the international community is not to put any further pressure on the Afghans. The policy of aggression has not yielded any results in 20 years. It will not do so in the future. We should try to move towards a positive direction, to take the path of diplomacy and economic cooperation. Peace and prosperity in Afghanistan will be to the advantage of the entire world. As Afghanistan's interim Taliban government seeks international recognition, they are busy consolidating their own hold on power as well. With Panjshir Valley purportedly under Taliban control, the Afghan resistance movement, the Northern Alliance leader Ahmad Massoud, delivered an audio message recently from Panjshir, apparently, calling on Western countries to support anti-Taliban forces. Well, I got a chance later to talk to exclusively with uh, Ahmed Vali Massoud, the father-in-law and uncle of the current Panjshir resistance leader, Ahmed Massoud. Vali Massoud served as the former Afghan ambassador to the United Kingdom and also chairs the Massoud Foundation. He told me his nephew is safe and rejected reports of intensive fighting in the Panjshir Valley. Despite the roads in the mountainous areas being blocked, resistance fighters, according to him, are not giving up. Tell me more about the latest situation. There are various reports suggesting uh, different realities on the ground. What is going on from your perspective in the Panjshir Valley? At this moment, the resistance, as I mentioned in uh, different interviews, that the Taliban have taken the road. Panjshir Valley terrain is a big terrain. It's a very mountainous area. So the road is a very narrow road. The Taliban have been able to take the road with the tanks and armament. But the rest of the Panjshir Valley, there are side valleys, there are different terrains, all of them they are under the control of the resistance. So at this moment, there is no kind of intensive fighting, except there are some skirmishes here and there, like that. There were the commanders who were the part of the resistance. They raised their voice that they are there, and they will continue the resistance until the freedom of Afghanistan. Mm. What about your nephew and son-in-law, Ahmad Masood? Yes, he is there and he is safe at the moment he is there. That is why there are a lot of inspiration. There are, there are motivation on the resistance. But there are people coming from across Afghanistan. They want to enter uh, the resistance area territory and they want to join in and he is there. But there are different opinions. For example, a senior Afghan interim government official says life in the northern Panjshir Valley is back to normal. In another exclusive interview with CGTN, that official from the spokesperson's uh, office of the Taliban interim government uh, suggests that the humanitarian aid is delivered as normal there. He also claims in the conflict over Panjshir, the civilians did not suffer casualty. Although all sides agreed that the humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan is worsening and international support is urgently needed. But they disagree on how aid can be delivered to most Afghans in need. Ahmad Vali Massoud told me in the interview the best way for international community to help Afghanistan, according to him, is to reach out directly to the people in Afghanistan. Mr. Massoud, what about the humanitarian situation in Afghanistan, as far as you know? Uh, we now know the Panjshir Valley, it is, uh, as according to you, uh, 
be occupied by both the Taliban and the resistance forces. What are the situation for the common people, particularly in that province? Of course, it's a very dire situation. The Taliban have cut all the supply lines. They have made blockade, the panship. And at the same time, they have cut all the basic things, the food, the very essential need and all of that. Only just two days ago, one day ago, they started to give the electricity back. But that's all at this moment. Of course, we all know that the situation is very bad in the whole of Afghanistan, economically and food-wise, uh, food shortage, medicine shortage, other essential shortage, all of them. Mm. Mr. Masood, another question, of course, about the humanitarian situation. We see um, quite a number of countries already pledged and also delivered to a certain extent emergency aid to your country in Afghanistan. For example, Russia, China, Qatar, even UAE and some of the others uh, for emergency aid, food, uh, medicine, vaccinations, things like that. Uh, tell me how much will this of support to uh, your country, Afghanistan as a whole? And, and how uh, do you see uh, is the best way for the international community to provide support, I mean humanitarian support? The best way to do that one is to go to some sort of international channel or international kind of uh, aid institution or maybe some Afghan independent channel which will be allowed by the Taliban to operate inside Afghanistan. I do think that that should go through NGOs because at the moment you are kind of suffering. So therefore it's best for the international community to do it themselves or to do some other kind of foreign challenge to reach uh, the people of Afghanistan.